I come from a very musical background, I'd like to think, because music is very central in, you know, our rituals and everything. Like, it's it's just a soundtrack for our upbringing. But studying music um, at the age of nine, I started playing recorder at the Claude Boys Primary School under the tutelage of my first music teacher, I guess, in school, Mrs. V. Rajmani. And then I think two years later, I joined Siakula Music Center. You know, p- played trumpet at, at some point, also played the, the E flat horn, and then I switched to clarinet. Then in 2008, um, started playing the saxophone because I had decided that I want to pursue music, go and study music in, at, at varsity, which wasn't an easy um, decision, or it wasn't that easy for my parents to, you know, just accept that because they, you know, n- no one had studied music at home before. So I just had to convince them. But of course, with the support of the center, Siakula Music Center, and of course, Dr. Brian Tusi, you know, visiting my family from time to time, just making sure that they are taking care of me. My parents were really convinced and they were very supportive. Thank you. 
the name of this particular project is Iladi, which is a Thanksgiving ritual. And I, I just felt that it's important to, you know, just to get in that mode of giving thanks, you know, to where the music comes from and just to the world because times have been uncertain. And then in terms of this particular lineup, of course, Mohorosi, my big bro, yeah, I've been, you know, we've been meaning to do something and, you know, we've, 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 we've done a couple of hits together, you know, in different configurations, but I've been wishing to, to play with him in a trio format. But then thinking about Jude and just the possibilities of the harp and how she plays the harp, I just felt that maybe this quartet could be something. And of course, my young bro, yeah, I've been, you know, I've been just meditating on his sound and his growth. And I just felt that this quartet is, is you know, is just important. It's very close to my heart. And I just felt that these are the people that would execute this music in, you know, in a way that I feel it should be, you know, ex executed.
I grew up in Johannesburg, so so for me, um, um, even 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 walking north from north to Newtown, um, it was always music, um, and it was always just being able to be aware. So for me, I've always had that sense of awareness, even on the bandstand, um, just to look around and what is doing what, and, and who's doing and who's moving where, and um, and in Joburg, it's a it's a matter of life and death if you if you can't read the situation. It's a communal thing. We come from 
you know, communities where music is not for entertainment, but it's a communal thing. So for me, the music and the musicians, they're special because of even like voices, like unique voices. Um, in Durban, uh, there's, there's a scene, um, I've just moved from Durban to Joburg, but here there's like vast like um, voices, which I, I'm able to like also focus on meaning. I, I, there's not one sound that I can be drawn to. There's a lot that I can, yeah, I can open my ears to. So it's that for me. I don't come from a very community driven way of music. I come from a very competitive, the Western classical. It's so structured and you're, you're kind of alone. It's so soul enriching for me to be able to um, be pulled into these sacred ensembles and, and play with these musicians who really play from the soul. There is so much for me to delve into and just, you know, being able to improvise and explore my instrument, you know, it's so amazing to me because for the first time I got to know my instrument.